Hello, I'm Yasser Janab, Interventional Cardiologist in Tehran Heart Center, presenting the case Chimney Graft into the Left Subclavian Artery during Thoracic Endograft Placement or TVAR. Our case is an 88-year-old man. He had history of open abdominal surgery due to intestinal obstruction with large residual incisional hernia. He had back and flank pain with diagnosis of thoracic aneurysm of type 1 trochoabdominal aneurysm starting at the left subclavian artery and extending to the renal arteries. Our medical plan was thoracic endograft placement or TVAR with left subclavian carotid artery bypass to reduce the risk of spinal cord ischemia. As the left subclavian artery bypass was not visible due to patient's frailty and old age, we plan to conduct a single chimney TVAR using V12 inserted from the left brachial in subclavian artery followed by TVAR from the left carotid artery to the celiac trunk. Coverage of the left subclavian artery in patients treated with TVAR was associated with a higher incidence of stroke and paraplegia. Therefore, left subclavian artery vascularization should be considered in the elective setting. There are two options to preserve left subclavian artery. One is by surgery, which is called carotid subclavian bypass, and one by endovascular approach called chimney subclavian graft. Chimney subclavian graft appears to be good minimal invasive alternative to carotid subclavian bypass in patients who undergo TVAR and needing left subclavian artery revascularization. Sharp bends in aortic arch and mid thoracic aorta was among our challenges in this case. The femoral access was managed by percolose proglide technique. We place a 7 French long sheet in left brachial artery and part a V12 covered stent left subclavian artery. Afterwards, we deployed our covered stent from left carotid artery to descending aorta. After placement of cover stent in aortic arch and descending aorta, V12 cover stent was placed in left subclavian artery. Afterwards, kissing balloon inflation was done. Second cover stent was deployed with good overlap in descending aorta to celiac artery. Due to a severe bend in the descending aorta, procedure was more complicated. Actually, there was a gap between two cover stents in descending aorta which was managed by a bridging stent graft. Chimney subclavian graft appears to be a good minimal invasive alternative to carotid subclavian bypass in patients who undergo TVAR and needing left subclavian artery vascularization.